Hey guys, the Counterpuster Shop here, and today we'll show you the big project we are working on for the past year. That will be the first 100% open source resin 3D printer that will be available as a kit on the market. We are sorry for having not posting videos for a long time, but since this project will be launched on Kickstarter, we needed to keep the secret a bit. Please note that this is not a how-to video. This is a short video of the process we took for building the printer, including all our faulty designs. We will mention those a bit in the video, but there is a lot to cover. For the design of the machine, we tried to keep things as simple as possible. Whenever we could, we took parts and materials that are easy to find. Because it will be open source, we wanted an easy to source bill of material. Yeah, we built it as we have parts, so sometimes we needed to undo things. One of the big issue we had is the LEDs. Since the internet wasn't have a lot of information about resin printers, it was hard to find the proper power for the LEDs. I found somewhere that the Piopoly Phenom was using about 80 watts. But it turns out that it was far from enough. This problem caused to not have proper power supply and LED driver. Here you'll notice that because we don't have a lot of power for the LEDs, we didn't need a heatsink. This was another design issue we figured out later.
For this project, we used a lot of 3D printed parts, but for the arm of the printer, we got custom made laser cut aluminum parts for better rigidity because this part supports a lot of force, pressure, weight, and suction. For the final design, we will use thicker plates. It works great, but we are worried it won't support enough for bigger and heavier prints, so this is why we will change it. For the next part, we had a bit of a challenge to find a solution. We needed to have threads on the build plate to do the assembly. Unfortunately, the plate was too thin for making thread directly in it. We could use a bottom tap, but the risk wasn't worth it for about two or three threads. We cannot have thicker plate because it will be too expensive, so thanks to my brother, we use rivet nut upside down, then lock them in place in precise hole and punch all around it to permanently lock them in place. Using a dot of epoxy will be help too. Some of you mentioned that having a flat build plate is not ideal. We want to limit the cost as much as possible and having a tapered edge would cost too much. Same thing goes for perforated build plates. It would have been easy to do, but a lot of people don't like this approach. Maybe it would be possible to have a 3D printed top for the build plate to prevent the resin from pooling on top, like the first prototype of the Phenom, but we don't mind using a squeegee on top. We use Acme Rod for the Z-axis. Some of you said that it wasn't the right choice for that. Again, since we are on the low budget, we try to minimize the cost. This was not a bad choice either. The rigidity came from the rails and not from the rod, so we didn't have an issue from that component. It will be even better with a 2mm pitch. Keep in mind that is open source and a ball screw upgrade will be available for sure. Look at the tiny, tiny power supply and lead driver. <laughs> we need it stronger ones. We hadn't received the custom cut glass at the time, so we used what we had on hand and tried something with a spacer for testing purposes.
we now need to put the panels and do some tests. There is a legend, a legend from the beginning of time, a titan named Prometheus. It began with the end of the gods' war and the stolen fire, the fire stolen by Prometheus. With his good will he gave the gods' fire to the human race, and because of this gift he taught the humans how to create, but the gods had been fooled. Zeus discovered his hoax and punished Prometheus for eternity. Again, the gods were fooled because something else had been stolen. We now present you the Prometheus MSLA 3D Printer, an endless way to create with infinite opportunities to use your imagination and make your ideas come to life.